we are at the murder scene on a street called Derbyshire where a woman named Debbie Martin stabbed her parents to death. This is just over a year ago, I believe. She's in jail right now. And uh, this is all kind of happening right now, but this is, uh, this is the house where it happened. Really sad story. Uh, her parents were in her 70s. She, I think she had some mental health issues. But her parents, they just came back from a party and she had planned this. And she came back early from the, the neighbor's party. The parents came back. She stabbed them both to death while her mom was on 9-11 calling for help. So we'll talk more about it at cemetery we'll head over there we are now a little bit east of uh, Arlington Heights about 20 miles from Chicago and this is the All Saints cemetery where the parents David and uh, Dave and Ann are I believe interred in a crypt in the mausoleum so we'll check it out we're in. Paying respects to a really great guy. Probably one of the most famous announcers, baseball announcers that ever lived. Who you, you know anything about baseball, you'll know who I'm talking about. The uh, famous Harry Carey, who broadcast for several teams, but most notably the Chicago White Sox and ending his career with the Chicago Cubs. Here it is. And there I see it can see from here there's a there's a there's a baseball, there's Corona beer. Yep. There's a picture of Harry Carey. That's him. Baseball, it says. Harry was known for those glasses and the phrase holy cow. Just like Jack Brickhouse would say, hey, hey. And Harry, one of his biggest claims to fame is uh, the seventh inning stretch. He was the guy who coined singing the song, not coined the song, but singing the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I don't know if that's done. I'm not a huge baseball guy. Well, since I was a kid. I don't know if that's done at, uh, on the other teams, but in Chicago, it's staple at the seventh inning stretch. Here's our respects to Harry Carey. Rest in peace. What a great guy. I'm at the mausoleum here, and it is massive, so I'm going to have a fun time trying to find, find them. There's no real markings. There are some amazing sculptures here. Bronze statues. I don't know, this is kind of haunting. It's amazing. Solid bronze, and they have they have all the saints. I'm trying to, I'm just wondering what this is. I don't know if anyone knows. We have steps here, and then there's some kind of ramp with these blocks projections. I don't know what that would be for. Oh, just a curiosity. These are quite remarkable statues. I've always wondered, you know, did they did they really look like this? You know, I'm sure these are from paintings. But I've always wondered. I mean, they all look different. Very distinctive. Did they, did they really look like that? Like, how do we know? James the Less. OK, 
Okay, we were in the wrong place to begin with. So, on the trail for Ann and Dave, I'm at a different mausoleum. Luckily, I ran into somebody that uh, administration knows what they're knows what's going on here. So, all right, you guys, you are why uh, you're my wildlife moment for my video. What's up? This is a beautiful area. A man and a wolf. Ooh, this is a beautiful statue, guys. Look at this. Just a little bigger than human scale, which makes it really intriguing, especially this wolf or wolf dog. Wow. That is just stunning. You have to be here in the flesh to appreciate this video. It does not do it justice. Well, a lot of faces here. We've got Francis Hennessy, a golfer. Died in 2010. His wife Kathleen died in 03. All these people died young. We should really appreciate our time here. Beautiful woman here, Rose Serenzia. Rose was born in 1915 and passed in 13. I love seeing those pictures of when people were young, when you go to heaven. I would imagine you'd be, uh, you'd be at the prime of your life if that's uh, what heaven's all about. It would have to be. Carolina DBS passed in 2012. There's Lisa. Lisa Filchio. Died in 17. So many faces. You know, it's just sometimes it's overwhelming to see these faces. You just wonder how could there be so many? People that have lived and died. Real people, right? All right. Let's keep searching. This is Anthony Partipillo. Passed in 2002. You know, I might be wrong, but I'll bet Anthony was a really fun guy. I'll bet, I'll just bet he was. So many faces. So many faces. This is James Blasucci. Uh, James died in 05. Uh, not very old. Not sure what happened. Maria Gallo, 1966 to 2008. Maria only lived to be 42 years old. So Michael Savoca, Michael Savoca, if I'm pronouncing that right, 1950 to 2009. Michael uh, lived, didn't make 60. Sharp looking guy. Just doesn't seem right, does it? Doesn't seem right. Adriana Ruffalo, 1967 to 2001. Another one that has died young, considering. Maria Campobasso, 
1981 to 2015. Another one, very young. The love between a father and daughter is forever. So true. Danny Malazzo, 1978-2012, another young one. And you start looking around and there's, it just makes you think there, a lot of people die young. A lot of people die young. This is Patrick Wetzel, 94 to 2016, way too young. This is Maria Ann Marquez. What a great picture. 1931 to 2014. She looks like a movie star. Maria. You know, as I'm walking through here, and the, when the wind is not blowing, it really smells. And that is the smell of death. I'll tell you this, Vincenzo Frato is not forgotten. You can see the happy memories. And this is a note from his, probably his grandson. I loved you so much. You were the best. I wish I can see you again. And I love you so much. Hope you are better. Nana. These are the precious memories, guys. This is this is what it's all about. Because it comes and it goes. Very fast. Vincenzo Jacinto, 1925 to 2018. Another movie star. Could have been. It's like a time machine when you see those pictures. This is Vincenza Adanza. She was born in 1938 and died this year, very recently. And uh, presumably her husband, Antonio, very handsome guy. These pictures just, they're together here, just, uh, I don't know, it's, I guess I, I look at these pictures, these particular pictures, and it just makes me think when they got married and the excitement of life ahead, family, all of that. It's uh, a time that was that is no more. This is Mary Faraci. I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Mary was born in 1970 and passed in 2013. Beautiful young woman. Taken, taken early. Vincent Neri was in the uh, service. Passed away in 2019. Thank you, Vincent, for your service. Maria Scudurlo passed away in 2013. And her husband with her, Tommaso, passed away four years later in 17. Antonetta. Antonetta. Antonietta Frioli, 
passed away in 2017. And she is clearly remembered. So, back to uh, the Martins. The, um, the crime happened just over a year ago, and you know, there's, there's not much to really say other than it was a bad deal. Um, she, Deborah Martin, the daughter, who was living with her parents there, she left the party early and got home ahead of time and uh, she had a journal she was planning to do this for a while and I guess she had some uh, she did have some mental issues she, in the journal it said she was planning for a long time to do this so she left the, the party early she probably went home to prepare her folks came home and uh, I guess she had killed Dave, her father, while he was sitting in his recliner. And I'm not sure how much of a struggle there was there, but there was a big struggle. Uh, her mom was dialing 911 and was, you know, they were in their 70s. And uh, once dad was overpowered, I'm sure that it was uh, tough for mom to fight Deborah off. Deborah stabbed her seven times, and went and took a shower. And uh, neighbors had called the police. Actually, I'm sorry, take that back. Anne was on the phone with 911 as this was unfolding. So, very chilling 911 call it was all caught on tape, gasping for air, dying. And Deborah just went in the shower. She just went and took a shower. The police came, her, uh, her hair was wet, and it was, she made some statements, but that's not being, um, it's not being published. So that's where it's at right now, she's uh, in jail, and here they are. We'll, uh, we'll be here together. You can see here it happened last year. Very nice people. The neighbors were devastated. None of the neighbors would talk to the news media. I think one man may have. Uh, they were just really known as salt of the earth people. Anne was a teacher. I mean, you know, 70, low, you know, 70 some years old. You're at the at the point of your life, retiring. Time to enjoy life. <clears throat> It's a really sad story. So, David and Anne, uh, we hope you're resting in peace.